Eight. <laughs> So, hi everyone, I'm Kimiko, a software engineer at Google working on Chrome browser. Okay, and I'm Jim Pick, I'm a software engineer at Protocol Labs. Oh. So, I'm very excited to be here to talk about, for like too long, about IPFS and the community and also to explore what browsers and the web standard can do for decentralized content consumption on web. So, I'd like to talk about our recent web standard proposal, which is called Signed HTTP Exchange. It's a kind of simple concept. It's a format that represents an HTTP request response, but it's cryptographically signed with a certificate so that the, the content can tell the true origin of content or like uh, what person, wha what organization has published the content and also like I can tell the integrity of the content so that uh, you can verify it's not modified from the original content. So what does this mean? Uh, decouples content distribution and the content attribution. I think it probably sounds natural to, your, to you. Maybe too natural to you, but let me know that uh, this is a web standard proposal where things are basically, things basically need to rely on the secure end-to-end -end TSS connection to the origin of the server to be able to verify the origin. And uh, we are trying to propose a new alternative architecture to the web. So that the when the browser loads this content or it's a signature, it can actually show the true origin in the address bar and also it can give the right permission to that origin regardless of wherever the content is loaded from. It can come from your peer computers like uh, from like IPFS of course. And uh, we think that it can be used for various use cases like for anti-censorship or like uh, alternative decentralized content distribution or maybe alternative caching or various things. So earlier in the presentation, I mentioned that the exchanges basically represent single resource, but you know, your web page would probably comprise of various resources like text, image, JavaScript, or videos or whatever. And uh, of course, exchange can be also bundled in a single format or single package and it can be distributed with your signature like a book. So here are a little bit more details about signed HTTP exchange. So basically resource and the certificate and uh, so signature tells the real, real URL, the certificate information and the integrity information or whatever. I'll skip all the other details. So I mentioned that uh, it's a new web standard proposal, but it's actually also implemented and shipped in Chrome so that uh, you can try it on Chrome today. And uh, Jim is going to show you uh, all some of them, how this can work with IPFS. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> so. So, okay, we recorded this video and it might loop. Um, so I'm making a, a web page. I'm just going to upload it to IPFS, uh, pretty standard static HTML based website. And it's been uploaded to IPFS. And um, I created a web service you can go to. It's just a prototype. Um, log in with your GitHub account. So anybody can try it. Um, Create a site name, so I'm calling this SXG demo, and as my GitHub, and put the CID in there. I hit publish. This is sped up, but it's going to read read the static site from uh, IPFS, um, sign it with signed exchanges on using SSL cert that I own, and then it published it um, to IPFS, and then I can load it in Chrome. Uh, it loops. So <laughs> um, it, um, it published a site, and when you clicked on it in Chrome, uh, it was there, and which is really neat because it doesn't exist on uh, an HTTPS website anywhere. It just only exists in IPFS, but it has all the security benefits of running it on a hosted HTTPS website. 